Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. The sheep are in the meadow, the cows are in the corn. In this video we're going to discuss a slight variation on this nursery rhyme with the sheep in the corn and the positive aspects of grazing corn. There are a number of annual crops that can be grazed. Turnips, oats and corn are three that work well in Ontario. Grazing corn is one of the ways to diversify your grazing operation, add flexibility and lengthen the grazing season. Bill Smith and family have been grazing corn for the past several years and have found that it is an important component of their pasture management system. Corn provides the opportunity to grow a productive crop for late summer or fall grazing. Corn provides an excellent opportunity to reseed a hay field or pasture that needs rejuvenating. Corn planted in late May or early June following a hay crop or a grazing will provide excellent grazing in September through December depending on your grazing needs. The corn crop will break the allelopathic effect that mature alfalfa plants have on seedling alfalfa. This is an excellent opportunity to control any weed problems that are in the field. Putting a fence through the corn will require knocking a row or two of corn down. This can be done by chopping the corn as seen here on the video or you could push the rows down with an ATV or a tractor. If possible, push the corn towards the grazing side of the strip. If your sheep are well trained to electric fence, then two wires should be adequate. If they are not trained to electric fence, then you should make that a priority before starting to graze. The sheep will graze the corn that has been knocked down so it will not be wasted. The corn can, can be planted conventionally or no-till with a pre-plant burndown. The smiths use glyphosate resistant to corn to give another option to, weed, to control weeds after crop emergence. If there is a reasonable amount of legume in the sod, then there should be enough nitrogen available to grow the corn crop. Phosphorus and potassium should be applied according to a soil test. This is an excellent opportunity to apply manure if it is available. Phil's experience has suggested that planting a silage type corn with slightly later maturity than would normally use for corn silage is likely the best option. There are also grazing corns on the market that can be used. If you wish you can double back with the corn planter to give a 15 or 18 inch row spacing. High plant density is preferred as we are looking at maximum growth of forage rather than trying to develop the grain crop. The Smiths have planted at approximately 40,000 seeds per acre. Plant the rows in the direction that will work best for strip grazing. In most cases this will be the short distance across the field rather than the long way. It's much easier to install the strip grazing fence if you are working with the rows rather than across the rows. Phil has found that a reasonable crop of corn will give 2,500 to 3,000 U days per acre of grazing. With this guide you can cal calculate how many acres of corn to plant or how many days of grazing you will get from your corn acreage. 2,500 U days per acre means that one acre of corn would give you 25 days of grazing for 100 U's or 5 days of grazing for 500 U's. You should do this calculation before planting a crop so that you get the right amount of corn that is required for your situation. The corn can be grazed green or after it is matured, but the preferred way would be green when the leaves and stalks are most palatable. Phil has started grazing when the corn kernels are well formed but still very milky. Once the corn has been frozen, the palatability drops off somewhat and intakes may decrease slightly. You will need to strip graze the corn, giving the sheep one or two days feed supply at a time. Three days would be the maximum time on one strip. You want to have them clean up as much of the corn as possible. They will eat the cob first, then the leaves, and finally the stalk. In the Smith's case, they are looking to add some body condition to the ewes while they are grazing the corn. They have been successful in adding about one body condition score over a 60 to 75 day grazing period. Because they are looking to have this improvement in body condition, they are not forcing the sheep to eat all of the stalks. The first few days the sheep are in the corn, they will be a little bit puzzled about what to do, but after a day or two they will get on to the mechanics of eating the corn. They will eat the grain and cob first, the leaves that they can reach second, and then one of them will push against the stalk to knock it down where several others will join to feed at the buffet table.